fact, you don't need to spend the time learning how to do it if you have needle drivers in your instrument kit. The instrument tie, you take your needle drivers and the thread, and you wrap the thread around twice over the jaws of the needle holder, and then grasp the end, the free end of the suture, and bring it through. Because we wrap the suture around twice, we've made the equivalent of a surgeon's knot. Now, for our follow-up knot, we won't wrap it around in the same direction, but the opposite direction, and this will help ensure that when we grasp the end of the suture material and pull it through, that our knot will lay down into a flat square knot. These knots are very difficult to see lay down square with this thin material, and that's why we use a thick material like this to illustrate the principle. We're back now to our practice setup in order to further demonstrate the mechanics of an instrument tie. Here we have our needle driver, and we're going to wrap the suture material around twice. Then we're going to go out and find the end of the suture material that was off camera and pull it free. And as we do, we will see the knot lay down nicely. A second throw will be made. We wrap the suture material around the instrument, gone off and found the end of the suture, and now we'll pull it through.